this way. Don't act to help her. She won't be human much longer. William! <laughs> Slowly but surely, she will become a beast. <laughs> <sighs> The Thirteen Towers. Elena, no doubt you're keen to return to your old self as soon as humanly possible. <laughs> Still hideous, no matter how many times you see it, isn't it? Oh. And once we get there, then I... Come, let's not tarry here. No doubt the army are close behind. Jane, take it. You need it to get hold of all that beast flesh. The flesh is for a ceremony, you see, to get her back to her old self. Navda, I want to go too. I'll be back. You'd best head off without delay.
Hmm. Back in one piece, I see. So, have you brought us back flesh for the ceremony? Yes. Here. Go on now. Oh. Take a bite. <gasps> you want me to eat this? Ah, I see what the problem is. Folks in this country are believers in Ios. You're forbidden to eat meat, aren't you? Now this little morsel is beast flesh. Freshly cut from servant beasts. Oh, what? Ah. Come now, girl. Eat it down. Elena. But I've never eaten meat. Well, if you don't eat it, your fate will be sealed. You'll grow more and more monstrous. And there'll be no happy ending for you and young Aaron. continent of Imperia lies the kingdom of Illyria. At its remotest edge, hundreds of leagues from the capital of Helicon, a forbidding wasteland stretches to the furthest horizon, Orcanus. Deep within this desolate expanse where none may set foot, the earth has been torn asunder to form a rift extending over thousands of leagues known simply as the Scar. At its center, suspended above this fathomless fissure, are the Thirteen Towers. Towers of all sizes, interlink and intertwine, each playing their part in the intricate design, fusing to become one single vast fortress. Held in place by twelve chains that grip the walls of the surrounding cliffs, the towers loom like a spider in its web, seeming to inhabit a space beyond the normal world. The bristling turrets of the towers serve a purpose. They bind the earth together, preventing the scar from widening and tearing the world itself apart.
Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Aaron. And you too, Mavda. Oh, this is wonderful. I can go back to my village. Don't get too far ahead of yourself, young lady. The curse is far from being lifted. Huh? Mm. There, on your back. <laughs> Not so long as that mark remains. hasn't been lifted. What do you mean? But I'm normal again. Only for a while. So long as you have that on your back, the curse will slowly take hold. You mean the meat? I can't stomach any more. Well, I'm afraid you're going to have to. Otherwise, things are only going to get worse. <laughs> to think the maiden at the Harvest Festival would end up forced to eat meat. <laughs> Why, that's because of the curse, of course. Why, indeed. <laughs> How would I know? Why, yes. Poor Elena is not the first to be cursed in this way. All sorts of things. Some fell into the hands of the Illyrian army and were dealt with. All you have to do is to keep bringing beast flesh back from the towers. Though that will only weaken the curse, it won't hold it back forever. When Elena consumes the flesh, her changes will reverse. But this respite is only temporary. If you leave her as she is, the poor girl's transformation will continue unabated. If you can't slow the curse's progress, she will never be human again. You've got a memory like a sieve. My name's Mavda, and don't you forget it. I told you this already. My people are the Vestra, and we are traveling merchants. You forgot already? Deary me, I introduced you. This old fellow is my boon companion. He's rather shy and retiring, I'm afraid. Oi, you up there. That's right, isn't it? <sighs> so this is to be my life? To be cooped up in here, eating foul flesh? Must I learn to live like this? Can I not lift the curse? Lifting the curse, you say? Well, now. Oh, do tell me, Mavda, please. Aaron, you must head back to the towers. Deep within each one, a master awaits you. Defeat these masters and return here with their flesh. If Elena eats this flesh, the mark on her back will fade, and she may be human once more. No! I won't hear of it! 
How can I ask Aaron to face such dangers for my sake? <laughs> of course. That's easier said than done. Oh, that reminds me. I have a little something for you. This belongs to my people. It's called the Oraklas Chain. And now to take just a little of Elena's lovely hair. What? It's for Aaron's sake. <laughs> I take it this is your first time. Quite a sight, is it not? My people, the Vestra, are the heirs to a special power. We can control the chains of destiny, the invisible ties that bind people together. Aaron. Hold out your hands. Oh. It seems you know what you're doing, so I will entrust this to you. Now, wherever you go, you will always be connected to Elaine. wasn't it? I'm still a bit dazed, but I think I'm all right. Thanks for worrying about me. Eating the monster flesh is the only way I can stay human. Thank you. 
to if you hold on to it.